Hi, and welcome to day 25 of God's Wisdom for Living. We're traveling through the 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs. It's absolutely fantastic. Today, we're looking at Proverbs 25. My Bible has the headline that says, Further Wise Sayings of Solomon. I'm going to take a look at verse 21 and verse 22. It says this, If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For so you will heap coals of fire on his head. I'll say it again. For you will reap coals of fire on his head, and the Lord will reward you. So we read this scripture, and it, it sounds a little different, doesn't it? And sometimes we read this and we, under, we misunderstand it. It says, if your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he's thirsty, give him water to drink. And you'll, put, you'll heap coals of fire on her head. Listen, this doesn't mean that if you bless your enemies, which is really what this is talking about, this, this doesn't mean that if you bless your enemies that you're going to set their head on fire, you're just going to make them so mad, just, oh my gosh, you're killing with kindness and I can't stand it. No, what, what this actually means is this is just another example of meeting a need that somebody has because in Bible times, when this was written, people had wooden hearths, they had these, these fires that they would build, and sometimes people would run out of wood they'd run out of the you know they'd run out of what they need to have a good fire and so what they would do sometimes is they would literally have these containers they put them on their head they'd have all these things they're trying to carry and they would put coals in this thing on their head and 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 go back and they would and the picture is they, they would have so much that they would be able to go right back to their home and they would immediately be able to begin cooking and so what the lord's saying here is if you've got somebody that's acting like an enemy Go ahead and genuinely bless that person. Go ahead and bless them. They got a need? Go meet a need. And it's going to put coals in your head. What it means is your God is going to use you to truly bless them. And then check this out. God says he will reward you. And how does God reward you? Well, the Bible and another proverb, I think it is, says that when a, way, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. And so that's just one way, but there's so many different ways that God will reward your steps of faithfulness. And it is total, totally counterculture, isn't it, to bless our enemies. We want to cancel our enemies in this day and age. Well, I don't, but a lot of people want to cancel their enemies. They want to say bad things about them. They want to find dirt on them. They want to beat them up on social media. They want to have payback and wait till it's their turn. And, 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 and the Christian way is to do something different, is to bless them and to genuinely say, you know, I, I, almost in your heart, you, you kind of feel bad for them. It's like, wow, you know, you're acting out that bad. There must be something really challenging you on the inside to cause you to be acting that hurtful and hateful. And we really need to pray for people. I remember a pastor, uh, one of my mentors a long time ago told me this. He said, Andy, you, you rarely have problems with people. What you have more often than not is a problem with the spirit that is operating in a person. And if it's not the Spirit of God, we know whose spirit can be working in people at times. And, and that's sad. And so we need to pray for those people, bless those people, and maybe through our act of unexpected kindness and blessing, they'll see God at work in their life in ways that they never have. And maybe, just maybe, they'll experience Christ and make a change and then really receive the blessing of God in their life. So I just want to challenge all of us this way when... People act like enemies. Let's pray for them. Let's bless them. And let's keep on moving in Jesus' name. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Tomorrow's Friday. The weekend is coming. And I pray that God is blessing you, your family, and friends. I'll see you soon.